Georgina does not plan to depend on Cristiano forever and launches a new business without him. Dear friends, welcome to my channel, I am Maya. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Georgina Rodriguez, partner of Cristiano Ronaldo, has quietly entered the real estate market with the recent purchase of a home in Spain. Just a few days ago, Georgina Rodriguez posted an intriguing image on social media, showing herself in an empty apartment holding a set of keys. While she offered no specific details about the location, her previous social media activity and insider information hint at the property being in Spain. This comes as no surprise given that she is expanding her real estate ventures and has begun the legal processes to solidify her position in the market. Earlier this year, Rodriguez registered a real estate company named Bellaliza SL, based in Madrid's exclusive La Finca neighborhood. The company, which focuses on property development, has Georgina as its sole founder and Rimon Jordan as its appointed administrator. Her recent home purchase is likely part of this broader business plan, though no further details about the property are available yet. A long-standing interest in real estate. This isn't Georgina's first foray into the real estate world. In 2019, she made her first solo investment by purchasing two properties in Girona, Barcelona. One of these plots is a pristine, undeveloped piece of land, while the other features a single-story house measuring 98 square meters. Though this initial investment was less about business and more about family, as it provided a home for her mother, it laid the foundation for her growing interest in real estate. Now, with her recent moves, it's clear that Georgina is focusing more on strategic investments in planning for the future. Her partner, Cristiano Ronaldo, has long been involved in expanding his property portfolio, owning multiple homes and hotel complexes. Together, they own houses in Portugal, including a mansion currently under construction that will soon be finished, tailored entirely to their tastes, a strategic move for the future. Georgina's venture into real estate signals her desire to secure her financial future and ensure a steady flow of income, even if circumstances change. Her growing presence in the property sector is a testament to her forward-thinking mentality. With the launch of Bellalisa SL and her latest property purchase, it is clear that she intends to build a solid business foundation in real estate, just as Cristiano has done throughout his career. As details about her recent property purchase remain scarce, it's evident that this is just the beginning of Georgina's journey into real estate, a sector that has proven lucrative for her family. Francis Ngannou's coach shares what Cristiano Ronaldo told ex-USC champion inside locker room before his emotional win over Renan Ferreira. Eric Nixick, the coach of star Francis Ngannou, has revealed the details of a conversation that took place between Cristiano Ronaldo and his client. Ngannou returned to MA action in PFL's Battle of the Giants PPV, standing in the octagon for the first time since leaving UFC with the bout set for Riyadh, the Saudi capital. Ganu was to face Renan Ferreira in the main event. Before the fight, he received a surprise visitor in his locker room in Al Nasser Captain Ronaldo, along with his son Cristiano Juror Cristiano Ronaldo, was in the locker room to encourage Ganu to find the level required to emerge victorious from the fight, his first since losing his son. The heavyweight champion lost his 15-month-old son Kobe in April 2024 following congenital malformations. Nixick revealed to MMA Junkie that Ronaldo was able to connect with Ngannou on a personal level due to experiencing a similar loss. Cristiano Ronaldo was in a similar situation to Ngannou in 2022 when he was still on the books of Manchester United. His partner Georgina Rodriguez delivered a pair of twins, but the couple lost one child, Angel, shortly after the delivery. He returned to action with the Red Devils shortly after before leaving the club in January 2023. Genu appeared to have been fired up by his meeting with Ronaldo, and he won his fight via a first-round knockout. 
The Cameroonian fighter was in tears after the bout as he remembered his son even in victory. Cristiano Ronaldo poses for picture with MMA star in Riyadh. Cristiano Ronaldo posed for a photo with MMA star Paul Hughes following his victory over former Belader champion AJ McKee in Riyadh. The mixed martial artist had fought against McKee on the undercard of the Ghana Ferreira PPV in Saudi Arabia. Following the fight, Hughes caught up with Ronaldo and took a picture with the 39-year-old Al Nasser forward. A keen MMA fan, Cristiano Ronaldo watched on from ringside as Hughes took down McKee by majority decision in their fight, recording an upset. The Irishman improved his record to 13-1 after the three-round win over his opponent. Lionel Messi could now surpass Cristiano Ronaldo in Club World Cup feat after Inter Miami qualify for tournament. Lionel Messi could surpass Cristiano Ronaldo's feat in the FIFA Club World Cup, following Inter Miami's qualification for the tournament in 2025, as outlined by. The MLS side secured entry into next year's FIFA Club World Cup after winning the Supporters' Shield this season. The FIFA Club World Cup has been revamped, and the new format will kickstart next July, featuring 32 teams from across the world. Unfortunately, Al Nasser haven't qualified for the tournament, meaning Cristiano Ronaldo won't be able to add to his tally next year. That would open up the door for his arch nemesis to take advantage. Lionel Messi has five appearances at the FIFA Club World Cup, all during his time at Barcelona. The Argentine ace has won the tournament three times, in 2009, 2011, and 2015, registering five goals and one assist. The Portuguese legend has eight appearances in the FIFA Club World Cup for Real Madrid and Manchester United combined. The 39-year-old is the tournament's record goalscorer with seven goals. Cristiano Ronaldo has won the tournament once with the Red Devils and thrice with Los Blancos. When Inter Miami take to the field at the 2025 FIFA World Cup, they will have the chance to become the first club from America to win the tournament Lionel Messi will also have the opportunity to surpass Ronaldo and once again reign supreme in the GOAT debate. Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo may be in the final phase of their careers, but they are still the two best-paid footballers in the world. As per a report by Forbes, the Portuguese icon is the biggest earner in football, pocketing a massive $285 million per year from wages and sponsorship deals. Ronaldo's contract with Al Nasser is worth $220 million per year, but it expires at the end of this season and he hasn't signed a new deal yet. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner has scored nine goals and set up three more from ten games across competitions. He has shown no signs of slowing down and is expected to sign an extension soon. Messi is second on that list, earning $135 million from his wages and advertising commitments. The diminutive magician has also been indispensable for Inter Miami this season, helping them win the supporters' shield. Messi has registered 22 goals and 12 assists from 22 games across competitions for the Herons this campaign.